and presence at the Book Expo? Oh, oh, thank you. First of all, we represent the Ministry of Higher Education this year, but also culture and literature. Currently, um, we have about 27,000 students in the U.S. So it's important for us to, to tell the people about Saudi Arabia, whether with the presence of our students or with our publications about different aspects of life, the food, the art, the culture, um, the religion, which is a misconception to a lot of people. Um, the, so the in a way you are bringing a glimpse of the Saudi Arabian culture exactly. to the United States? Also we're acting as a bridge between the whatever the American public needs, publishers or distributors, and the publishers and distributors in Saudi Arabia. Currently, I've had a lot of people come ask me how can we get our books distributed there. All you have to do is ask me and I'll email you the name of distributors and how to contact them or publishers. So this booth is actually a bridge between the two countries. So you're also representing the publishing industry and the distribution yes, industry? Yes, not, so not officially and formally by them, but as but a bridge, as a, yeah, as a bridge as between the, the two as countries. The, as a government agency yes. promoting culture, culture and literature exactly. And, exactly. and so on. Do you have anything to say to the smart book lovers special interest group? I represent a interest group of high IQ yes. uh, book lovers. Well, I'd say well, I'm a book lover myself. Let me and your high that. IQ being a <laughs> doctor. You. Not all doctors have high, high IQs. Okay. But <laughs> yes, um, to book lovers I say that it's, it's important to explore different cultures, whether a book is written in the original language or translated. So. You should be keen on reading books by Saudi authors, if not in the original language, then in translated ones that we'll soon have in our booth. Thank you, Modi.